Now, let's just get back to our main story there. UN climate experts warning of severe changes to the world's weather unless greenhouse gas emissions are virtually eliminated by the end of the century. Their report comes ahead of a key summit in Paris next year where an international deal on curbing emissions is due to be signed. Well, we can talk now via an internet connection with the climate change sceptic Dr Benny Pizer. He's director of the think tank, the Global Warming Policy Foundation, along with Nigel Lawson, prominent skeptics is it fair to describe you as I think what, what is your reaction to the report today hello there hello yeah the report uh, doesn't say anything new we've heard this uh, for the last 20 odd years this is the fifth report by the IPCC and it really doesn't change the underlying problems of the international community to come to uh, a binding agreement so this is nothing new we've heard it all along and it's unlikely to change the deadlock. Well, away from the, the, the deadlock and the political wrangling, which does tend to come along with this sort of thing, I mean, what about the science itself? I mean, they're saying they are more than 95% certain that the majority of warming since the 1950s is down to human activity. Yeah, we, but as I said, this is nothing new. We've heard that since 1990. And you accept so, that? You accept uh, it? Well, we certainly accept that humans have a contribution uh, to the warming. On the other hand, we also know that uh, in the last 15 years, 25% of all the CO2 emissions ever emitted uh, uh, during uh, human history have gone into the atmosphere and the warming trend has come to a halt. No one knows how long this is going to last, but it doesn't help the IPCC uh, given that they predicted much, much faster warming in the past. Uh, what does your own modelling show of the future for warming? <laughs> we don't do any modelling. We don't do any speculation. Um, I personally think that we don't fully understand the climate. It's highly complex. It's very difficult to see or to really make reliable predictions. In all likelihood, it will warm up. Uh, over the next 100 years, but no one really knows how much. It might be moderate, it might be stronger. No one really knows how much warming we can expect. And, and therefore, it would be a risk not to act, wouldn't it? Indeed, and I don't think anyone is advocating uh, to uh, ignore climate change. There are just different policy approaches, and we are basically advocating the most cost-effective approach uh, wind farms and solar panels won't stop climate change, that's for sure. Uh, complete waste of money, hundreds of billions wasted on so, ineffective... So what, so what will? Well, the most cost-effective way of dealing with climate change is adaptation, is making our societies more resilient to what uh, is going to happen. In any case, we will face a more... Uh, heat waves and uh, cold snaps and droughts and flooding. All of this has gone on for hundreds of years and is going is very likely to happen uh, over the next 100 years. Our societies need to be resilient to these events. I mean, it is interesting because if you look at the whole sort of argument between uh, the likes of the majority, I think you'd agree it's by far an overwhelming majority. I mean, what the last uh, UN summit, 120 heads of state were there, notable emissions, but nevertheless. Uh, and if you look at the historical r difference between the two of you, the skeptics have said initially there's no warming, then they've said it's not down to man. And now they do seem, you do seem to be coming more into line with the international body of thinking over what is going to happen in the future. And we've always said what we say now, and that is there is clearly a contribution by uh, humans. They are emitting CO2 into the atmosphere. This will have a warming effect. The big question has always been how much of an effect. And uh, clearly the policies adopted by most governments are not working. But the sceptics have changed even on that. I mean, take Nick Lewis, uh, a leading sceptical scientist, recent report coming out with forecast figures that are very much in line with the UN's. Well, I, they are at the low end, that is true. 
And that means um, that we have much more time than many people who claim we're facing Armageddon or doomsday. Um, if warming, and no one knows, I mean, I don't know whether Nick Lewis is right or wrong, but if he's right, we probably have more time to find proper solutions, cost-effective solutions that are realistic and are actually being adopted by governments. For the time being, governments are highly reluctant to uh, take any unilateral actions that undermines the economy, that, that makes energy costs going up. Europe is facing big problems for the energy policies they've adopted because no one else has adopted similar measures. Okay, well, Dr. Pizer, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you.